How do you know when to press the shutter of your camera? How do you know when you need to take a photograph? How do you decide that this is the moment, this is it, I just have to take a photo? That is what the French photographer Henri Cartier-Bresson was calling the decisive moment. That moment of perfect position of the person that is being photographed in relation to the perfect position of the photographer that takes the photo. It all has to come together perfectly. And this is just a click, a moment, a split of a second. Henri Cartier-Bresson was a French photographer born in 1908. He is considered to be the master of candid photography and he was one of the founding members of Magnum Photos. But what he is famous for is this concept of decisive moment that produces a lovely candid photo. Candid photography is one created without creating a posed appearance. It doesn't matter if the subject that is being photographed is aware of this or not. If he gives the photographer his consent of being photographed, the only thing that matters is the absence of posing. To create a candid photo, you have numerous methods. You can photograph the subject in motion uh, or by avoiding prior preparation of the subject or by surprising him and very important by not distract him during the process of taking photos. Bresson started with painting and drawing. He used to call a photo an immediate sketch that you can't correct it. If you try to correct it, then you make another photo. And correction is also impossible because that moment it's gone. You can't ask a person to repeat the gesture, so sometimes the photo can disappear. He didn't take um, documenting through photography seriously and he didn't like it. He also considered himself a bad journalist. He was a photographer that depended 100% on capturing the moment. He went to a place and when he saw a strong relation between shapes that was visually pleasant, he took the photo. In Bresson photos, you'll notice the beauty of shapes and geometry. The structure of the photo is what matters and what brings joy to the photographer and the viewer. He called it intellectual pleasure, the geometry of what was in front of him. And sometimes it doesn't matter how much you look because sometimes there is no picture. The action could be interesting, but if the relation between the subject and the shapes and geometry is not perfect, then you don't have a photo. And the difference between a good photo and a bad one is only millimeters. At one moment, Bresson was asked, how do you make your pictures? And his answer was, I don't know, it's not important. So we understand that photography for Bresson was an act of seeing, understanding and feeling. The camera was just a means to create his instant drawing. The technical process was not important, but feeling when the decisive moment happened, you can't foresee it. You can try and predict it, but you have to be there and just act. You take a photo and you capture a whole world in it. It's all there for the viewer to see. There is no hiding. There is just the photo in front of you. Because he was so used to take candid photos, he said that the most difficult thing for him was taking a portrait. The reason is because the person knows what is going to happen and he poses. And when the person agrees to be photographed, then a simple snapshot becomes a portrait. He photographed a lot on the streets, but he also liked to photograph people in their environment, in their homes. Bresson said you have to be like a cat inside their homes. Just observe and notice. Capturing the essence, it's like putting the camera between someone's skin and his shirt. The process of being photographed leaves you naked in front of the photographer. The process was an intimate one and that's what made it difficult. That's also the reason for searching for those candid moments. People get 
embarrassed in front of the camera, but when they don't know you are there, they're so natural. Another person asked how many photos you take because they were thinking you have to take lots of photos to capture one of these moments. The answer was again, there is no rule. And again, we're taking back to the essence. Photography is an artistic act. It's a reaction to what's in front of you. You see it happening and you click. Bresson said, I never think, I act. If we follow his advice, then you have to be yourself, but also forget about yourself. Ideas are dangerous. You don't have to think because you'll try to change it. Photograph it as it is and let the photo come to you. Sometimes you just sit there and wait. The moments are seen by you and you decide what and when to photograph depending on your state of mind. And here I found something that Bresson said that is very similar to something that Ansel Adams said, a photographer with a completely different range of subjects. The person you are, the love, the faith, they're all there in your photos. The way you feel, the books you read, the music you listen to, it will influence the way you see the world. Moments will lose importance or gain status in your eyes, depending on your state of mind. A photographer is not lucky and you can't rely on luck. With this being said, you have to photograph a lot. As Bresson said, you have to milk the cow a lot to get a little cheese. Constant work is important and it's decisive, like the moments you're after. He had a philosophical approach to photography and to life. Every moment and second that went away was a slice of death that was happening around him. But he was not celebrating death. He just was aware of and also knew that every moment was a new one, alive and vibrant. And that was what he was after before that moment vanished in the waves of time. Bresson believed that you can find interesting things to photograph everywhere that everything is interesting if you scratch it. Everyone made 10 good photos in his life, was one of Bresson's quote. The consistency of good work is what's more important. Perhaps one of the reasons he liked taking these candid photos was because a love and hate relation with the people. He said that he loved people and then he hated people. And sometimes the camera becomes a weapon and can be used as propaganda. An interesting thing was that while he was looking for that decisive moment, he didn't have photos made by him on the walls of his house. He said he just liked taking photos. It was like the moments were there, he came and photographed them and then he abandoned the moment and the photo in that place and time. A final thought before I leave you is this short quote that a camera can be a warm kiss, a sketchbook, a machine gun. Hope you enjoyed this photography essay and the decisive moment of Henri Cartier-Bresson. Leave a comment below and tell me on what other photographers you'd like to see a similar video. Thanks for watching and bye bye.